I want to share with you how 50 quid made me over half a million pounds in business revenue. So are you ready for this? I'm going to talk to you about an experience that completely transformed my thinking and that 50 quid turned into a massive business opportunity. So often we think about investing and we think about investing in like the stock market and you get six, seven percent and, you know, all that kind of stuff or being a property developer and all of these kind of things. For me, the best investment I ever made was I went to hear somebody speak. Now, uh, this was a relatively cheap, it's not one of those scammy things where you pay thousands and thousands of pounds for, you know, a bit of paper. I went to hear somebody speak. And it cost me 50 quid. And it what it has been, to this day, the best £50 pounds I've ever spent. And I'll tell you why. Often when we are doing what we're doing, we approach problems, opportunities, life. We approach them with the thinking we've learnt in the past. So... Everything that's happened to us, our schooling, our work-life experience, our previous business experience, uh, everything that's gone on in our lives, we approach life and the future based on the past. You know, simple no-brainer. We approach the future based on the past. Now, the problem comes is that all you know is what you've experienced. So to, to go into the future, you have to know new things. And... Uh, Sometimes you need light bulb moments to help you re reframe how you will approach the future. So one of the things I do is I will sign up for all sorts of stuff. So uh, newsletters, all that kind of stuff. And I look through it for the things I don't know. Uh, I don't necessarily read everything. I'm looking at what they're doing and why they're doing it to understand something new. So whether you're in marketing, sales, or you're a small business owner, you should be looking at what other people are doing to find the things that you don't already know. And I'll tell you, uh, I might do a video about what I learned in this session that I went to. And it was maybe eight years ago now. But I learned, uh, I'll do a video on it. Uh, another video on what I learned because I think it's it, it's really useful and it's really kind of shaped my thinking. And what I found is it's not always the big money that creates the big opportunities. Sometimes it's just that little thing, that little word or that little, that different way somebody explains something that kind of unlocks something in your mind that you start to see something a little bit differently. And that happened for me. Uh, and that's been carrying me, that that kind of unlocking in my mind eight years ago has carried me for eight years. Um, so I constantly now look through anything I can find to absorb new things. Um, I leave my credit card on uh, locked away uh, because if somebody shows me something really good, I might, I might invest into it, that I might make a poor decision. But I will literally dig into anything anybody's doing to understand what can I learn, what can I cannibalize from this. And all good businesses, all good products, all good services, all good uh, people will look around and see what other people are doing and find a way to either do it better, communicate it better, or innovate in some way. And, you know, we think about that as copycatting, don't we? We think about it as copycatting. But actually what it is, is it's us innovating ourselves in our thinking, our businesses, based on what we see the market doing. And that's the fundamentals of business. Innovation comes when there's a gap, there's a space in the market. And what we have to do is find those spaces in our own knowledge and insight that we haven't learned so far and fill them. So I got, I've had a gazillion fold return on that 50 quid because it taught me something that changed the way I thought about things for the rest of my life. So I would encourage you that the biggest ROI you can make is actually in changing your own thinking, changing what you what you understand up here. Not head knowledge in the sense of facts and figures, 
but in the way people think, in the way you should express things, all of those things can make a huge difference. And I'll give you uh, an example. So I uh, transitioned our business a few years ago. Um, difficult situation. Uh, I'm sure if you watch some of the videos, you'll learn about that. Um, so I transitioned our business uh, from a from a very uh, sales-driven business to a very marketing-driven business. It's actually doing better now than it did before it without having the uh, sales team or the salesperson or people. Um, but that could only happen when this piece of thinking had unlocked in my mind. Because I thought that if I had people working, working, developing opportunities, that was the answer. Action was the answer. But when I changed my thinking, when I unlocked this part of my, you know, a, a, a kind of light bulb moment that I didn't have to do it this way, the whole thing could flip on its head. The whole thing was different. And we actually found that we were closing more sales easier. Our conversion rate went up. Now, I'm not saying you advocate getting rid of your sales, but this is something that unlocked for me. So uh, 50 quid translated into a half million pound uh, growth. Now, how much you attribute the future to this now, I could probably say if I wanted to, I could to total up all the income that my business has made in the last two or three years. Uh, I could total up all the stuff that I'd learned that I'd innovated marginally in the last few years. That 50 quid has probably got me millions. Now, it's not all just down to that. But what I find is, just like when you're navigating or when you're trying to get directions or you're setting course, you know, if you're a captain of a boat and you set course, um, if you can change things before you set off, you, you avoid wasted trip on the journey. So I would encourage you, the biggest ROI you can have for your business is to unlock the things that you haven't thought about yet. And that means exposing yourself to lots of different ideas, lots of different opinions, um, digging into what other people are doing. Because when you do that, you will unlock insights that you currently might be taking for granted or you might not even realise are things you could be doing. And suddenly you get new opportunities and new avenues to explore and that's how you can make a gazillion i love the word gazillion a gazillion uh, percent roi on 50 quid